All right, guys. So as you can see, she's really dirty. I got the pollen all over it. My wife cooking on the barbecue pit, leaving all these stains. So the original plan was to make a video, a customer review video, I guess you could say, and show you all exactly what I like and dislike, and honestly just give an honest opinion about it. Like, there's videos all over YouTube about it, but none of them actually tell you what they had break or what problems they had. Like, obviously this isn't Vex's fault, but just simple stuff. So, stay tuned. Today's going to be the day I'm going to clean it. I'll go through the whole boat. I know a lot of people have been asking about it. I've done a lot of stuff to it. So, I'll make the video today. Alright, so we're going to start from the back and go from the front. The last video I just made was kind of out of breath from <laughs> being out of shape and trying to do all this. But, so on the back we got the Pro XS 150. They don't have very many covers for this motor. I'm sure everybody knows that. And I looked and looked and looked and couldn't find hardly any covers for it until I ran into a YouTube video of this one. It's called Ocean South. And this cover is a, a obviously you can run with it. It's got breathers up here. I did have a Pro XS sticker on it just to try it out, see what it looked like. And it was right here. But obviously I'm going to have to get it printed on because the water, once the water hit it, it pretty much ripped it off. But also another thing, I used this for a long time when I had this boat, which was a complete mistake because when you hit bumps and it hits that metal piece right there in the V, it will chip your lower unit. I kind of fixed it already, but now I'm running a, uh, a tote right. It's basically the only one they make for this motor besides the normal ones. So that one right there, it's 140 bucks, but it looks like crap online. It looks like plastic, but it's honestly pretty solid. It's almost as solid as wood, so. Another upgrade I did, and I absolutely love it because I love videoing when I'm fishing, is the Yellow Tech. That thing is absolutely sweet. I use it just about every single time I go fishing. You put your GoPro on top, you got two USB ports, and all you have to do, plug it in, and you turn on your nav lights and charges it all day long. Never had an issue with it dying. Now another thing I, I did personally was I put a tab tight mount for my iPad. I have an iPad laying around and I use Navionics on my cell phone so I figured hmm I might as well use my laptop I mean my, my iPad if it's just sitting in the house. I've already got a 9 inch hummingbird on here that came with the, the boat but I can put my iPad right there and have you know two screens easy. I can use this one for everything else and that one just on maps. So I think that was I don't know 60 bucks. And everybody's scared of drilling into this uh, <laughs> this fiberglass. That's kind of what it looks like. I'll show you better in a second. But if anybody knows me, I'm crazy about stickers, so. I ordered stickers, some of them I got for free. And obviously, the whole front deck is covered in the carpet decals. I just think it looks sweet. You got the GoPro ones on the side. Basically, I upgrade stuff on this boat all the time just because, I don't know, I like personalizing my stuff. This is a DD26 troll motor jacket. And it was, I don't know, 25, 30 bucks protects it from uh, if you leave your boat out in the sun this helps all your wires from getting I don't know dry rotted if they do or faded or anything else or if you have a lot of wires like a something else up here you can obviously tuck them all in they're not hanging around this is the uh, hummingbird 9 mega imaging all that stuff you got the 360 up front and if you can get the 360 with your boat I suggest you do it because it's absolutely amazing takes a little bit of getting used to but it's freaking sweet I got the foot pad here just like the looks of it and obviously in the summertime if you fish with flip-flops or barefoot 
that comes in handy. Got the Ultrex on the front. Pretty sweet trailer. I use this, but I don't use this. Like, I don't really need to use this. What I use it for is if somebody was to come up here and see my boat and want to steal it, they would have to know what this is to even hook up to the truck. So I just take it out and put it like that so it looks like it's almost locked. I got cameras at my house, so I'm not really worried about it. If they do steal it, just get another one. But This is the whole outside. I love how they put the uh, buckles on the bottom. You don't have to buy those, so they come with it. It's got all LED lights, which is nice. It looks like an expensive boat. You're not going to... You can't compare this to like a Phoenix or a Ranger fiberglass boat. I mean, you can't. But for the looks of it and the money that you pay, if you're your average, you know, average tournament fisher or every weekend fisher, this is perfect. Absolutely perfect. I have a manual jack plate on here. Everybody asked me if I had a jack plate. Yes, I do. I'm glad it came with it. Like I said, this dealership obviously hooked me up with a bunch of stuff. Now the drain plug, I was kind of sketched out about it first. I've never seen them like this. I mean, never had like a really new boat, so. But the drain plug goes in. That's how it holds in. And I always thought, you know, something happens and it, it doesn't go in all the way. It's kind of sketchy, but I've used it several times. If anything, if you're worried about it, just kind of press on it. You can put, I don't know, something on it to help it kind of go in a little bit better. But other than that, it stays in. It ain't going nowhere. All right. So you've seen the outside. We'll hop into the inside. All right. So we're in the inside of the boat. I love these stickers. I'm sorry if I say that too much, but I love these stickers. They look sweet. Makes the boat look a lot better to me. I got the GoPro sticker right there because I love filming. And you get a little care package from Bexis if you contact them or anything, you have any issues. And they gave us that sticker right there. Which honestly, I think that should come standard because that looks really good. Makes the boat, you know, pop. But right here, excuse the mess if it's kind of dirty still in the boxes. This is what I would call my day box. Like, if we have food or drinks or whatever, we obviously have a cooler right here. But this is what I would put if I want to grab it fast and I remember where it's at so me and a partner will put stuff in here coming up here this is the huge I mean they you see all the videos that Vexus makes and they put people inside of this this thing is huge like it's it's perfect and I don't have a uh, a system to where I stack all of my boxes I got one big box with all my worms in it I got a couple with rattle traps, you know, crank baits, all that stuff. But I know where everything's at. And I use this, which is to hold your rods. I use that to hold all of my pliers and scales and stuff like that. But you can fit so much stuff in this box and have plenty of room. Now this side, I mean, if you have... 40 rods, you have 40 rods. I don't know very many people that do, that keep 40 rods in a boat, unless you're a pro. I have about, I don't know, 10, 15. That's all I keep, because I can keep 15 different baits on it and use that, and I don't hardly even use all the fishing poles when I'm fishing, so. But these things are a must. Because with aluminum lids, if you keep your boat outside, I promise you, Condensation will be bad on the inside of that lid and it will drip into your box. I had that issue at the very beginning. I mean, it's an aluminum boat, so what can you expect? But these things right here, damp rid is a must. You can see all the water in there. That's just from getting from outside being cold, then it gets hot during the day, and it gets cold again. It basically absorbs all that water. And that one's pretty much done. And I also have these, I think they're called silica packets. Kind of keeps it a little bit drier in here and it's not wet right now, but somehow they're gonna have to fix with the moisture getting in. Because they say with their latches, you know, compression latches, that no moisture is gonna get in. Well, that's not 
completely true. If you keep it in a storage unit that's air controlled, I guess, maybe. Some people don't have that issue, but a lot of people do. Another thing I had an issue with, this could be the dealer. It don't have to be Vex's, I don't know. I haven't really complained about it. But on the inside of their lids, they didn't glue it down. It's just stuck on these little screws. So that was kind of disappointing because that happened when I first got the boat and I noticed it. Kind of irritating, but I mean, you can get some, some kind of glue and probably glue it down if you do it right. Now, over here, the cooler, I hardly ever use the cooler. Like, I don't put ice in it. Actually, we still got stuff in it from last, last time we went fishing, but you can fit probably a 24 pack of waters in there and one bag of ice and it does we've used it once and the ice does stay in there for a while like it's not like a yeti but it'll stay in there we haven't tested it in the summertime yet now this one is where i keep all of my life jackets i mean i got towels extra towels i got extra damp red stuff in here i got a vacuum I got a throw cushion this box isn't huge but for stuff that you just want to get out of the way, it's perfect. I got three life jackets, a floatable, a towel, and then a couple other things in there that really don't matter. But excuse you another shot of this box. Obviously, it's not organized right now because last time I we went fishing, I never organized it back. But the rod tubes and everything is perfect i can fit two rods probably three without damaging the rods in that box and be perfectly fine and the deck is i mean if you've never seen one in person when this thing showed up at my house and they delivered it to me i was honestly not expecting it to be this big this boat is perfect for family fishing for just you and a partner fishing just having a good time like this boat is plenty big enough and i fish sam raver and everybody that fishes sam raver knows how bad sam raver can get i haven't been out there with it when it's really bad but you know two three foot rollers this thing still rock and rolls on the lake you're not gonna believe it until you get in one and ride in one but i'm telling you it's it's crazy how good this boat is in rough water Got the compressing latches, which to me means nothing because it's another thing. They don't raise these lips. There's no lip underneath it. It's just, you know, the rubber. So, yeah, it holds a suction on it. But like I said, that's going to have condensation all over it. And it's just still going to drip in your box. It might help if you get a wave or something on, on your, your deck that the water won't go in there. But... Honestly, I'm not going to believe that. It probably will. And I'm not downing Vexes at all. I love this boat. Like, this is my favorite boat I've ever had. I'm just telling you a real review on what to expect. Because you're not going to... This isn't a Ranger. This isn't a Phoenix. I mean, it's a nice boat. But don't be expecting that to get, you know, to get a, a Ranger out of this boat. Now, this was a must for me. I'm going to show you one thing. or actually two things that that bothered me I put a drink in here one day went to go pull my drink out and boom as you can see they put silicone or something in there to hold it but they didn't put it enough especially on the cup so literally those just they're not gonna fly out when you're driving or nothing but kinda irritating that both of them do it eventually I'll fix it put some more silicone on it but this I'm sure for a lot of people it was an absolute must for me. I love I don't I don't need a third seat in the middle. Like I usually fish by myself or one person, that's it. But this right here, you can keep your keys. Anything you want. I got G juice in here, I got whatever that is, probably throw it away. You got your, your buoys. I got some of them packets in here. But this thing right here stays wet. That's all I'm gonna say. If you put your phone in a bag or something like that, then you'll be good. But other than that, I'm telling you, this thing stays wet. It's still wet right now, as you can see my hands. I don't know if it's from condensation, because I know this one does it too. I've, ch I've checked it, or what, but it's not a dry box. But it is a good box to have if you want to put you know, your phone in a plastic bag in your wallet or whatever. But usually I carry it on me. 
I just keep my buoys right there so I can get to them pretty quick. Here's a better shot of the. Uh... So when I seen this on YouTube, obviously you don't want to go too small with the ram mount, and it be loose, and you know you still tighten it, but it's still loose because an iPad isn't that light. I mean, it's pretty heavy. So this one is a one and a half, and the guy was a pro fisherman, and he suggested do not go below one and a half on the size of the the ram mount. So basically, that's what I got. And this all came together. You can buy this separate. If you already have this, you can buy this. And all it does is slide out. You put your iPad in. And it, it, it does stay. What I did, it doesn't come in hardware. So I just went to the hardware store. Got these little rubber washers just to help out so it doesn't scratch my fiberglass. I drilled holes, yes. But if you do it right, it's not going to crack your fiberglass. I drilled holes through there. Made sure there was nothing behind it. Put lock washers on it. Lock nuts. And basically... You can move it around all you want, but I have it set up how I want it right now, but you unscrew it, there you go. A lot of people want to do this because not everybody has $2,000 to go buy another unit to put side by side, and everybody wants that. Because, I mean, honestly, if you fish a lot, it helps out. And I love using my maps because I pay for them, and I've got, you know, probably three years from Rayburn saved on just that one iPad, so as in waypoints and all that but sitting in the uh the driver's seat here as you can tell i'm 510 my legs are stretched all the way out and i'm still not touching i think no actually it doesn't have an adjustable seat but if you're i don't know 62 and below this thing is perfect maybe the 20 footer is a little bit bigger i don't know haven't been in one but the steering wheel honestly is extremely nice it's not cheap all of this is aluminum right here this is I don't know if you would call it leather or what but it's super strong super durable it's not gonna wear and tear like rip or nothing like that it's super strong the 9 inch came with it obviously came with the covers you gotta protect your investment and the nines for me are plenty like I wish it wasn't flush mounted I wish it was a little bit up because obviously you can see the steering wheels on the way. But other than that, it's it's pretty sweet. You can do so much things on this freaking unit, it's it's unreal. It's obviously the, the mega imaging and all that, so you can get super clear pictures. You got your RPM gauge over here, your water pressure gauge, and your trim. This one actually came with a trim switch right here, so I hardly ever use this. Like literally you put it in gear and I just leave it. I got a hot foot, came with a hot foot, which was another big thing for me. I love the hot foot. Key goes in right here. The boat power is off right now, so it's not gonna do anything. You got your fuel gauge, and you got your miles per hour. Now the toggle switches are perfect. Like, you don't want the touch screen, or the push buttons, because if that panel goes out, you're screwed. I've seen a lot of guys talk about that, and this is honestly the best way to go. Get your horn, your build, your accessories, interior lights, which is, it's honestly a little cheap light right there. And you can buy these off Amazon if it ever breaks. I mean, I've used them on several boats that I've had. But you got your live well main, live well timed, your anchor light. Obviously, that's for the yellow tech in the back. That's one I turn on right there. Now, this I love because I can charge my iPad. I can charge my phone. You have two USB ports. You have a 12-volt. So obviously that comes in handy. Everything runs off USB now, so you have two of them right there, and you have a 12 volt. Now the kill switch, kill switch is a little different. This right here controls your live well. Obviously, if you want to empty it, you leave it on empty. It drains it. As I was saying, the kill switch is a little weird. It's got a button that goes up and down, and what your kill switch is is just a little loop. You put the loop in. You pick it up where it says run, and that means it's good. So obviously if you follow the boat, it's going to flip it down and cut your engine off. But it's a little weird looking. It took me a little while to, you know, figure it out, I guess. But this is also really nice quality. It's not cheap at all. Like this is something you would get in a high dollar boat, to be honest. It says four person max, 670 pounds. I don't know how true that is. I mean, me and my buddy are probably 400 pounds. 500 you know together maybe not that much I don't know 
But this boat, I mean, it's perfect. We can both stand on the front deck. As you can see, it's huge. We can both fish off that front deck and be perfectly comfortable. We've both done it several times. I didn't get the side console mainly because I fish by myself 90% of the time. And I have this extra room right there. I don't have to run into a console and you have this little bitty gap you can go into in the middle. And I honestly love that way better than that side console. My wife doesn't like it, but she don't go fishing with me that often anyway. So Now the live wells. The live wells are big, I would say. They're deep, but they're not huge. They're good enough to hold a good sack of fish if you're tournament fishing or whatever. It's got a lip to where, I guess it's a splash guard, it's not gonna splash water up. And that's actually worked out for me pretty well. Now I bought this off of Amazon. It's a, I believe a DD26 rig. It basically just sticks on. And you have these that clip on and off. And I keep obviously five in here for when you're tournament fishing. You only need five anyway, so. But the live oil has impressed me. I mean, it's it's pretty nice. It's got, a, it's got a divider in the middle so you can take it out if you wanted to, which, I mean, if you want to separate your fish, then obviously leave it in. Now you got a box behind the uh, passenger, and look, this is what I'm talking about. It's not even cold outside, and I have moisture getting in there. That's going to happen regardless. Unless you keep it indoors, that's going to happen. So just be expecting that when you buy one of these boats. It's not crazy, but it is annoying. But right behind the passenger, this is where I keep my fire extinguisher, my dry box, an old cover that I had. And this, I keep all kinds of different stuff in here, I guess. The remote to the uh, iPilot, all that. It's a super deep box, like this box is huge. If you've ever had one of these orange boxes, you know how big it is and it fits in there perfect and I got more stuff in there, so it's plenty big enough. And the other one's just as big. The seats are nice, but I mean, I don't really use the seats, as in the front and the back seats. I keep this one here in case my dad goes fishing with me, just so he can sit down. But they're really nice quality. You can lift it up and down. It looks really nice too. Those aren't cheap seats, I can tell you that. Now the back, when I first seen this boat, I was like, okay, it looks like it's kind of thrown together because all the foam. But then you start researching it more and obviously they use liquid foam, so it goes everywhere. And I'd honestly rather it be like that and completely sealed, you know, extra sealed than, you know, have leaks anywhere. So it's got three batteries. You got your bilge, automatic bilge here. Uh, it's obviously a float, so you know if you're not paying attention, you get water in here, you're good. Pumps it out. It's got that. That's a must for people that don't fish every single day or every single weekend. A battery cutoff switch. I love them. Like I was honestly hoping they had one of these on the boat. The three bank charger. It's a nice one, but it's not like I guess the the best of the best. But there's actually seen a couple guys having issues with it. And yes, they're under warranty. And yes, you can bring it back to your dealership. But like me, I got my boat four hours away. So if I'm going to have a, a small issue, I'm not about to drive four hours to go bring my boat to go get looked at or fixed. Honestly, I mean, everybody's a do, do it yourself. So if you can fix that, I mean, if you fish long enough, you know how to fix that. So you can just take it out. Maybe even send just that in and get a new one if it breaks. But... It's pretty nice. It comes with the, uh, I've never used these before, honestly. And I have launched my boat and forgot about these little red things on here and I couldn't steer and I was going, what in the hell is going on? But obviously you gotta remember this, they clip on and off, it keeps your motor straight so it don't turn. And the back is just as big, like it's so wide, like, my wife can literally, and, and me, you can stretch your arms and still your arms won't go over the edge of the boat. You can stand right in the middle and it's that wide. So it is a huge boat for, you know, the money you're paying. This is the, uh, this comes with your boat. I honestly thought he told me it was a, a lanyard, so I thought it was like a key lanyard. 
which don't make fun of me about that, you know. <laughs> this is some kind of key lanyard. This is actually the loop that I was talking about for your kill switch. This loops onto your kill switch, and that's how it works. So I keep it attached to my life jacket so I don't lose it. And me, I always keep tools, so I obviously bought a whole tool set for this boat, specifically for this boat. It has everything you would need in there. I actually bought a kill switch because I thought it didn't come with a kill switch. So I went to Academy. None of these work on this boat. So if you lose your kill switch, I don't know, you might have to call Vexus and get a new kill switch because these don't work on it. Got the uh, weigh-in bag. It's got this little, I don't know what it is, foam deal, I guess, so your stuff doesn't beat up the fiberglass and all that. Keeps everything kind of secure. You got these deals right here to where if you slam your, your latch, this thing, if this thing hits, you know, up here, it's not going to crack your fiberglass. And if it cracks your fiberglass a little bit, it's going to start cracking the whole thing. So this is a good, you know, this is one of them detail things that, you know, Vexus always says we look into detail. Yes, I believe Vexus does look into detail. I believe Vexus could have done better with some of their stuff. I mean, they tried... In my opinion, they tried putting a, a really nice boat together. They had to leave out some stuff, obviously, because price issues. They didn't want it to be too pricey. And, I mean, some things you just got to live with, like I mean, the, 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 whatever you call it, the, uh, the edges right here, they're not lifted at all. It's just a rubber seal. That's all it is. If they can just honestly fix a couple things, like the condensation on all the lids, this was nice, you know, having a little thing to protect your fiberglass, but lift the edges. That way it seals better. You don't have to worry about that. They can put some kind of bed liner or something. I mean, they already painted it, so why not put bed liner or something that's going to, you know, push away the water. It is aluminum, so there's nothing you can do about it. Like, you can whine about it, but that's about it. All right, so I had to switch to my GoPro because my camera died. So I'll go ahead and finish it up before this one dies too. But honestly, this boat for the price for forty-two thousand dollars, I was not expecting a Phoenix. You pay for what you get for. I mean, the money's there for a reason. Now the new Vexus being a hundred thousand dollars, I'm not one to pay a hundred thousand dollars for a boat, but they do look pretty sweet. But if you go to, I mean, I would honestly shop around and look, even in different states, you can buy a boat anywhere and find the best deal with the most stuff on it already because everybody knows these units right here are $1,400 a piece. I got two of them. I got the 360, I got the old tricks. I tried to get everything that I can, you know, with the boat. That way I don't have to come out of pocket so much money. I'm still gonna get certain things for the boat, obviously. Like I've already spent quite a bit on the boat, but as in, you know, if you just buy it and you don't have all that, the trolling motor, obviously everybody knows how much that trolling motor is. I bought one before and I wanted it with the boat this time. It's there. It's already set up. Everything's already ready to go. So this one is actually tournament rigged. You have a cup holder and uh, a tool holder right there. I mean, I don't really use it mainly because I'm nervous about leaving pliers up there and then driving down the lake and them coming to hit me in the face. But you can customize these boats so much. This reminds me of my old motorcycle to where you buy a old beater motorcycle up and you can fix it however you want to. The parts are not really that expensive. It's cheap to fix it up. You can customize it how you want it. I've had so many people, when I go to the lake, look at this boat and like straight up staring me down looking at it and then coming up to me like they're scared to ask me questions. Like I would love to show people, you know, what the boat can offer. I'd love to give people rides and all that. But I've had so many compliments on the boat that it's unreal. Like everybody is looking at these boats right now and there's a big reason why. Now, the issues that I've had with this boat. This video is strictly to be honest because there's no really honest, honest videos on YouTube. It has its own flaws. When I got the boat from the dealership, this is the dealership's fault. As you can see, a large scratch. Now I tried getting the paint from the dealership. That took over two months. I told them to screw off basically. Because after I bought the boat, they were all nice when I was buying the boat, but after I bought the boat, they completely forgot about me. So, and I'm gonna call them out. Yes, it's 
uh, Morris Marine in West Monroe, Louisiana. I would not do business with him. He's mainly a salesperson. All he cares about is selling this boat. He doesn't care about anything that happens afterwards. But Vex is on the other hand. It took them one day. I emailed them. They told me, I'm sorry that you had that issue. We'll get it to you shipped out the day that I called. They shipped it all out. It got here, I think, either a day or two days later. Now, another thing. The boat's not all paint. I mean, it's got thick paint. This is actually really thick paint. I'm surprised how thick it is. If you have a big truck, I have a F-250 over there with a six inch lift and some wide tires on it, obviously. You need to think about rocks and all that coming off your tires, because I made the mistake already. <laughs> I have a couple rock chips, I'm not gonna lie. Pretty pissed off about it when it happened, but I mean, it's my own fault. And they will hit your fenders also, but they do have these, uh, some kind of rhino liner looking stickers that you can put and i haven't bought one yet but i do plan on buying one just to protect the paint because i mean if you have a big lifted truck or even a truck with mud tires on it rocks are going to come off and as you can tell a little bitty i mean it's not that noticeable but there is rock chips kind of all over it i should have done something about it beforehand but live and learn i guess now the emblems on the side are beautiful that's what I say, this boat looks like an expensive boat, and it feels like an expensive boat. Everybody always asks me, how's the boat ride? I'm gonna compare it to a Ranger and a Phoenix. It does not ride like a Ranger or a Phoenix. This boat is heavy, but it's a lot lighter than them big fiberglass boats. Rough water, it does good. Sorry for that noise. In rough water, it does good. It does its job. I mean, you feel safe in this boat, it is plenty fast. I think I got 61, 62, just me and everything you've seen in the boat. So it's plenty fast and it handles rough water phenomenal. But don't be expecting when you buy this, oh, it's just like a Phoenix or oh, it's just like a Ranger. It's gonna ride through them waves. It's not gonna be like that, I promise you. But you will love the boat if you just, if you fish every now and then, you want something plenty big enough, plenty fast enough. You know, plenty big enough for a family to get in. Honestly, you can get your whole family in this boat and be perfectly fine crappie fishing or whatever. It's plenty big enough. And honestly, if you see videos like this, it doesn't do it justice. Like, you would honestly have to see it in person to really accept the value of the boat. Now, another issue I had, let's go up here. Another issue I had, I don't know if this is Vexus or if this is uh, the dealership. I don't know what they do to the boats when they get them. But like I said, this is not all paint. This is stickers. And the second day that I had this boat out on the water, I noticed these little stickers here. Look, almost looks like pressure washer, you know, a pressure washer hit it and it chipped it off. Well, every time this happens, I mean, I obviously want to peel it off and break it off where it's at so it doesn't peel the whole sticker off. But honestly, as you can tell here, I don't know if this was Vexus, I don't know if this was the dealership, but they didn't put these stickers on very well. So I'm assuming over time, this is gonna chip more and I'm gonna have more issues with it. So I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do about that yet. If you can get, you know, two-tone color and not stickers, that'd be great. I would honestly recommend that. Like say, this color and white, perfect, no stickers. Or if they could just paint the sticker, instead of having stickers just make this paint, that would make it last so much longer. Now you have these awesome steps. This is, uh, I wouldn't call it sea deck, but it's similar to sea deck. It's like soft, but it's pretty hard. And those are nice to have steps on your uh, your side. You really can't get in the boat from this side, but it's still nice to have. You got some pretty cool looking rims on here. Everybody looks for that, you know, that certain look on like the Phoenix boats per se. This honestly reminds me of a Phoenix boat, just the, the emblems and you know, they have the awesome wheels and all that stuff. Some people might care about that, some people might not, so. Me and personally, I mean, I love the looks of the boat. Now another, another issue I've had, like I said, this video is to tell you everything I love about the boat and the flaws. This company isn't that old, so there's gonna be flaws. This I noticed, see if you can see it. It looks like a scratch, but that is actually a crack. So this is all fiberglass in here. And I, was, I did not do this. I promise you I did not do this. I told Vexus about it. It's not that big of a deal because it hasn't spread. But somehow, 
this fiberglass. I don't know if it was. I don't. I, I don't know if it was when they drove the boat over here because they delivered it, and they hit a bump or something. But somehow this thing cracked. And if I have any more issues with it, I know Vexus will replace it because Vexus honestly cares about their people, and they will get you what you need for this boat. Like especially if it's brand new. Like they don't want a bad name. They want to take care of you. And that's what they're gonna do. I've never had any issues with Vexes, and I, honestly, I love dealing with them because they're so nice. And they'll send you, obviously, if you have any issues, they're gonna send you a care package with hats, shirts, beanies, stuff like that, stickers. They wanna take care of their customers. They want their product to you know, shine above, above all the others. Like Ranger has the aluminum boats. Honestly, the Ranger aluminum boats are nothing compared to this. This is close as you can get to a fiberglass boat with all the accessories, all the features, but it's still aluminum. Because if I was honestly looking at Skeeters, I love Skeeters, but this one caught my eye. I watched videos. There's only certain videos that like dealerships do on uh, YouTube. So, I mean, I was looking at all the videos and they're all the same thing. No, like firsthand from a person that's actually bought one, their opinion. So that's exactly why I want to do this video because this boat does have its flaws, but other than that, it stands out so good. And you can do so many things to it. Now loading the boat on the trailer is extremely easy. You got to kind of mess with it and know where to, how much to keep your boards out. But other than that, it's extremely easy. Now another thing I've had issues with, and this is the the black spots that from that barbecue pit I was talking about, if you get white, expect it. Pollen, it's pollen season now. Pollen is gonna be everywhere on this boat. I'm already expecting I need If you can get a boat cover with your boat, some dealerships will give you a boat cover. I suggest you get it. It's a $600 cover. You're either gonna pay out of pocket or you're gonna get it for free. And most dealerships will give you a, uh, a cover with your boat. And I got this big shed for it that I you know bought for it to keep it out of the sun. But still, pollen is going to get on this boat. If you have a cover, it just helps it out that much more. Another thing, I don't, I think this is mainly the dealership because they put the motors on and all that. I think what happened here was they cut this thing too short. And when you turn, it just pops out. And this worries me because I don't want water getting in here. And when the water comes over, you know, when you're stopping, I don't want water getting in here and screwing everything up on the inside. So I'm going to have to figure something else you know out with this i think it was just the dealership's fault they cut it too short and you can obviously push it back in and it'll stay but as soon as you turn it's going to pop right back out so other than that if uh, there's a lot of guys interested in this this uh cover i'm gonna go over it again this cover is 122 dollars like it sits it doesn't come with decals which i wish it did you can find some i believe that are like 250 bucks and you have to customize them and all that yourself like on the website but honestly if you just get this like my wife has a uh, a printer so we can cut vinyl out and you know stamp it onto this this is a honestly a high quality cover for your your motor some people said they got the mercury covers and they were just junk i have no issues with this at all and i love it it protects your motor i had a buddy not naming any names, but I had a buddy that fishes in the back sometimes, had a rattle trap on when I first got the boat, and what do you think happened? He smacked the cover. So that right there told me, you need to get a freaking cover. So you can do just about anything you want to the cover, put your name on it, whatever. It's a pretty nice cover. Now right here you have your ladder, folds down. It's pretty nice. I mean, it's not the top notch. It kind of the clips are kind of cheap, I guess. They do stay in, but over time, I'm telling you, these clips are gonna be loose, and sometimes this might fall out. But you can probably order these, they're probably really cheap. Now you got your gas right here, it's where you put your gas in. It's pretty nice, I like how they did it. You know, put it on the back of the boat where everything is, you can literally just pull up, unlock it, and it clips in, good. Other than that, I hope y'all like the video, if y'all wanna see more. I was supposed to do this a long time ago, but I have a you know full-time job, work six days a week, I fish on Sundays. But I just now, I'm not fishing today, today's Sunday, and I wanna do this video for y'all. But if y'all have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. I'm all about transparency. I'll tell you everything you wanna know before you go buy this boat. 
what issues I've had, you know, what I wish they would do, all of that. But I'm telling you, if you're looking for a good tournament rig or weekend fishing boat, keep an eye on this one because it is really, really nice. So if y'all want any more videos, comment. I have a YouTube channel now. I'm trying to, you know, make some videos on it, just see what happens. So if y'all don't mind, go to my YouTube channel and subscribe, like, all that for more videos because I will do on the water videos as well. And I have done some running videos uh, on the water, you know, not really examples on how the boat can do, but I'll, I do plan on doing that here pretty soon. So like I said, subscribe, comment, like, let me know what you want to see on the boat. Like if you want me to do something, just tell me in the comments and I'll make it happen, basically. I'll give you all the upgrades like this. I suggest if you fish a lot, get one of these. This thing is sweet. So thank you for watching, and until next time, thanks.